Have you ever wondered if begging someone to stay in your life can bring you true happiness? Will it really help you get the love and respect you deserve? A big no. Yes, begging someone to stay in your life is not only unhelpful, but also harmful to you. Remember, never allow someone to be your priority while allowing yourself to be their option. Treat yourself with love and respect. Don't beg for love and respect from others. In this video, we will explore 10 ways to love and be loved naturally, without forcing it, based on the core principles of Stoic philosophy, an ancient philosophy, yet powerful and meaningful in the modern age, that teaches us, never beg for anyone's love or attention. You will learn how to maintain your self-esteem, understand your self-worth, and know how to let love come to you naturally and sincerely. Join me on a journey to discover the freedom of love where you don't have to beg, and everything will come to you naturally and meaningfully. Before we begin, I have a challenge for you. Stay until the end of the video, and don't miss any of the lessons. Each of the 10 lessons we share contains valuable values that can change the way you see and live your life. In particular, Lesson number seven will give you a completely new perspective on love and self-esteem that you cannot ignore. Leave a comment with the four words, I understand my self-worth, to share with us your feelings and join the community of people learning and developing themselves according to the Stoic philosophy. Thank you for watching and let's start this journey together. Number one, self-respect in relationships. Self-respect is the foundation of every action and decision. Respecting oneself is not only about preserving personal values, but also about understanding and applying Stoic philosophy to handle situations in relationships confidently and wisely. This helps you maintain confidence and avoid falling into the trap of seeking love from others. A healthy relationship requires a balance between giving and receiving. Stoic philosophy emphasizes the importance of maintaining equality in love and care. When you respect yourself, you also demand and maintain respect from the other person, creating a harmonious and sustainable relationship. Understanding the value of self-esteem and self-respect is crucial. An unhealthy relationship where you do not receive adequate respect not only damages self-esteem, but also hinders personal and spiritual growth. Be brave to leave such relationships to protect yourself. Furthermore, a meaningful and long-lasting relationship needs to be based on deep connection and the fundamental values of a healthy and happy relationship. Seek partners who can provide wisdom and patience. Learn together and become stronger from challenges. Don't beg for love. Let things happen naturally, and you will attain everything naturally and rightfully. Number two, debunking love at first sight. Have you ever been immersed in romantic stories where two strangers meet and immediately feel like they've known each other for ages? Or have you experienced the feeling of being struck by lightning when meeting someone special? 
Love at first sight, a concept romanticized in literature and films, makes many crave and believe it to be a sign of true love. However, Stoic philosophy and reality offer a different perspective on this illusory promise. Stories of love at first sight often paint a perfect picture where two people instantly click from the very first moment. However, real life is not like the movies. True love actually requires time to nurture mutual understanding and commitment from both sides. The feeling of being struck by lightning can sometimes stem from physical attraction or fleeting emotions, known as infatuation. Infatuation often comes with feelings of euphoria, jealousy and possessiveness, but it's not a solid foundation for a long-lasting relationship. True love is like a garden that needs daily care and nurturing. It requires patience, understanding and commitment from both parties to grow and flourish. Stoic philosophy values patience and trust in the natural process. Instead of forcing or rushing, let love develop at its own pace. True love originates from self-love. When you cherish and love yourself, you can give and receive love wholeheartedly from others. Our quality of life heavily depends on the relationships we nurture. True love brings satisfaction and happiness and is an essential part of a fulfilling life. Remember, love at first sight is just a romantic illusion. The secret to a sustainable relationship lies in understanding, commitment and nurturing love naturally, as advised by Stoic philosophy. Cherish yourself, be patient and let love grow at its own pace. Then you'll find true love and happiness. Share your thoughts on love at first sight and Stoic philosophy in the comments below. Let's spread the message of true love and build sustainable relationships together. Number three, learning from rejection and embracing self-worth. In the journey of seeking love and happiness, we sometimes have to face rejection which can be very painful. But from a stoic philosophical perspective, each rejection is not only an opportunity to learn, but also a chance to affirm our own worth. With a mindset of not seeking love, but allowing things to unfold naturally, we learn to respect ourselves and not depend on the acceptance of others. Take Maria, for example, a young woman who spent many years trying to please her boyfriend. She always hoped that her relentless efforts would make him happier and love her more. However, this relationship only left Maria exhausted, robbed of her joy and gradually stripped of her self-esteem. She constantly lived in fear and anxiety that if she couldn't meet her boyfriend's desires, she would be abandoned. One day, after a painful rejection, when her attempts to do her best for her boyfriend went unrecognized, Maria decided to pause and reflect on her own worth before God. She realized that true love is not something to beg for or coerce but must stem from sincerity and mutual respect. Maria began to invest time in self-development, engaging in activities she loved and learning to cherish herself. She found peace and happiness from within, 
no longer relying on the acceptance of others. Through Maria's story, we see that rejection can be a turning point, opening up a new path for us to learn to appreciate ourselves more. Rejection is not a sign of failure, but an opportunity to seek freedom and happiness in our own way. From there, we learn to love and respect ourselves, something that God always desires for each person. Through learning from rejections and affirming our own worth, we not only find true love, but also develop a strong, independent soul, one that is not shaken by criticism or rejection from others. Number four, avoiding idealization. Have you ever wondered why love sometimes causes us pain? The art of choosing a life partner requires wisdom and caution. Stoic philosophy teaches us that true love cannot be forced and avoiding idealization is crucial to ensuring a sustainable and harmonious relationship. Idealization often stems from unrealistic expectations, causing us to perceive our partners in a distorted and unrealistic manner. This can lead to disappointment and pain when those expectations are not met. To avoid this, we need to focus on understanding and accepting the true nature of our partner with all their strengths and weaknesses. Imagine if you idealized your partner as someone perfect, always attentive, and never making mistakes. When reality doesn't match expectations, disappointment arises. Instead, we should recognize that our partner is also human, flawed, and capable of making mistakes. This acceptance will help build a more realistic and sustainable relationship. The Bible reminds us that true love is patient and kind, not envious or boastful. These teachings remind us of the importance of respect and understanding in relationships. We should view our partner with compassion and forgiveness rather than through the lens of idealization True love not only involves loving the good qualities, but also accepting and loving the flaws of the other person. This creates a genuine, enduring and profound relationship, helping both individuals to grow and improve themselves. Continuing to understand and practice, these principles will help us build relationships based on mutual respect, understanding, and growth. When we stop idealizing and accept our partners for who they are, we will find that love becomes more natural and sustainable. Remember, love is not something to be forced, but a journey of acceptance and mutual development. And in that journey, we find true joy and peace. Comment. I avoid idealizing everything if you have drawn lessons and experiences for yourself from this content. Number five, reciprocity and stoicism. Mutual support is the act of reciprocating the kindness we receive through fair and generous actions. It's a reflection of our interconnectedness, where each individual is part of a larger community and our actions should contribute to collective prosperity. This principle extends into the realm of personal relationships, especially romantic ones, where gratitude and acknowledgement of what we receive from our partners strengthen the necessary bonds for shared living. Imagine this as a dance of giving and receiving, 
where each step is perfect, creating a rhythm of mutual respect and appreciation. In the realm of love, reciprocity teaches a powerful lesson. Never demand affection. True and deep love should be an exchange and mutual honoring between two souls. Recognizing one's worth and maintaining it is incredibly important. Consider the story of Linda and David. Linda always felt she had to earn David's love by constantly pleasing him and sacrificing her own needs. Despite her efforts, David's feelings remained unclear, leaving Linda feeling unworthy and exhausted. One day, Linda stumbled upon the teachings of reciprocity, emphasizing self-respect and naturalness in relationships. Inspired, she decided to focus on herself, nurture her own well-being, and value her worth. Over time, the shift in Linda's perspective transformed her relationship with David. She stopped begging for his love and instead engaged in mutually supportive actions, appreciating and valuing his efforts while still maintaining her dignity. Their relationship became stronger, based on mutual respect and genuine connection. This transformation also aligns with the perspective in the Bible, where love is often described as an unconditional gift from God. It's a patient, merciful and unselfish love. By trusting in God's love and wisdom, we can find peace in allowing love to flow naturally without coercion or desperation. In conclusion, the principle of reciprocity teaches us that love should be a natural exchange, a mutual respect for each other's worth. By adhering to this principle, we not only build healthier relationships, but also align with the principle of unconditional love from the divine. Recognize your worth, act with integrity, and let love flow naturally. This is the art of non-coercive love and all things natural. Thank you for following the video to the middle of this journey. We hope that the knowledge and sharing above has brought you many new values and suggestions in life and relationships. If you find this video useful, please like and share it so that many others can also benefit from this wonderful Stoic philosophy. Now, we will continue with the next extremely important topic. Let's explore how Stoic philosophy can help us make wise choices and build a sustainable relationship. Keep following so you don't miss the next useful information. Number 6. Choosing a Life Partner A sustainable and harmonious relationship requires a balance between reason and emotion. To choose an ideal life partner, we need to have a clear understanding of their core values and virtues. A good life partner will not only accompany us in joyful moments, but also be willing to face life's difficulties and challenges with us. Take the story of Silas and Gina as an example. Silas met Gina at a church ceremony. Instead of being immediately captivated by her appearance or temporary attraction, Silas decided to take the time to get to know Gina deeply. He focused on discovering her core values and inner qualities. Through conversations and joint charity activities, Silas realized that Gina was compassionate patient and had a strong faith in God.
qualities that Silas always cherished and sought in a life partner. Silas did not rush his decision. He always remembered the teachings of Stoic philosophy that happiness comes not from external things, but from inner harmony and peace of mind. During their time of getting to know each other, Silas and Gina went through many challenges together. Whenever they encountered difficulties, they relied not only on their love, but also on their faith in God and the principles of Stoic philosophy to overcome them. This helped their relationship become more sustainable and profound demonstrating the correctness of choosing a life partner according to Stoic philosophy. God taught us that true love is not possession or coercion, but unconditional giving and sharing. Through Silas's patience, the love between him and Gina blossomed naturally without being forced. They built a relationship based on mutual respect, gratitude, and faith in God, along with the principles of Stoic philosophy. In choosing a life partner, let us remember that there is no need to beg for love, but to let everything unfold naturally with wisdom and an open heart. Love should not be a pursuit or possession, but a meeting of two kindred spirits growing and developing together. Number seven, building emotional resilience in relationships. One of the principles of Stoic philosophy is to accept that there are things we cannot control and love is no exception. Love is not always smooth sailing and facing challenges in a relationship is inevitable. However, it is how we face and overcome these challenges that determine the sustainability of the relationship. For example, imagine a young couple who has just gotten married. They face many difficulties when starting their life together, from balancing finances to personal conflicts. Instead of letting these tensions break their relationship, they apply the principles of Stoic philosophy to build emotional resilience. They learn to accept what cannot be changed and focus on improving the aspects they can control. They find strength in patience, gratitude and mutual understanding. Religious beliefs can also play a significant role in building emotional resilience for instance, they might find comfort and guidance in their faith in God. During difficult times, belief in divine providence and the deeper meaning of life can help them maintain calm and steadfastness. The Bible says, God is faithful and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. The comfort from this belief helps them overcome all difficulties with patience and trust. Many studies show that people who can easily handle small stresses can also navigate major crises more smoothly. Therefore, resilience is beneficial not only in daily life, but also in serious or rare adversities. Stoic philosophy teaches us that by accepting what cannot be changed and focusing on self-improvement, we can build strong emotional resilience, helping our love relationships develop naturally and sustainably. Have you ever faced any challenges in love and overcome them? Can you provide a correct answer? Share your stories and experiences in the comments below. Number eight, maintaining independence within partnership. Sharing your life with another person doesn't mean doing everything together. 
always being yourself and maintaining your personal space is the best way to sustain a relationship. Maintaining independence in a relationship is crucial to ensure that love doesn't become a burden or dependency. Stoic philosophy emphasizes that each person should have individual independence, even when they are in a relationship. Keeping independence not only helps each person maintain their own identity, but also creates a healthy and lasting relationship. God also advises that each individual is a separate entity, created in His image with unique purposes and missions. Jesus also said that love is not possession, but sharing and mutual respect. Therefore, when we love someone, it is important to respect their personal space and time, just as God respects each person's individual freedom. When you maintain independence in a relationship, you not only keep your freedom, but also help your partner feel free and respected. This allows both of you to grow individually and progress together without being overly constrained or dependent on each other. Independence in a relationship provides time for reflection, development and enjoyment of personal activities, which brings freshness and excitement when you're together. Therefore, we should accept and respect ourselves as well as our partners. This means not trying to control or force the other person to change to meet personal desires. Instead, create an environment where both feel free and respected, where love can flourish naturally without constraints. True love is not about possession, but about respecting and nurturing each other's personal freedom. Leave a comment. Building personal independence as a hallmark, a foundation for building a healthy and lasting relationship where love is not forced, but naturally blossoms and grows. Number 9. Practicing Gratitude in Love Gratitude is not only a virtue, but also a regular practice. In love, gratitude reminds us of what made us fall in love from the beginning, helping us appreciate and preserve those beautiful values. Gratitude is not just an emotion, but needs to be expressed through actions. Studies have shown that expressing gratitude helps couples recall their initial feelings and the reasons that made them decide to commit to life. Sacrifice and mutual care are the foundation for maintaining a lasting relationship. Looking at the reality of life everywhere, we see that even in families without any conflicts, things are still peaceful and harmonious. But somehow, couples who were once deeply in love gradually become distant without realizing it. In the past, they were inseparable, missing each other after just one day apart, longing to see each other, and then they sought each other out to satisfy that longing. Now, there are plenty of reasons. Coming home late from work, being busy taking care of children, being too tired, enjoying staying up late alone to watch movies, going online and doing things they like, many worries in work, and social relationships keep them tied up, taking up all the time meant for their loved ones. Tired. They lie down and fall asleep immediately. There's no energy left for romance like in their youth, when they first fell in love, or even in the first few years of marriage so fresh. 
Love cannot be sustained solely on romantic emotions. Youth and beauty will eventually fade. Real life requires sacrifice and gratitude. Gratitude will remind us of the beautiful things in the past and help us maintain the relationship. For those with faith in God, gratitude is also a part of their faith reminding us that love is a gift from God. Leave a comment. I am grateful to God for what I have, and we will cherish and take better care of our relationship. Gratitude in love, according to Stoic philosophy, not only helps maintain the relationship, but also enriches our love. Remember, Love should not be forced. Let love come naturally, and with gratitude, we will have everything in the most natural way. Number 10. Cultivating Intentional Communication Intentional communication is not merely about conveying information. It is also about showing respect, understanding, and empathy towards others. In romantic relationships, fostering intentional communication is a key element in maintaining connection and mutual understanding, creating a solid foundation for love to grow naturally without force. Stoic philosophy emphasizes the importance of listening not only with our ears, but also with our hearts. Deep listening helps us better understand the emotions, thoughts, and desires of our partner. This not only helps avoid misunderstandings, but also demonstrates genuine respect and care. When we truly listen, we create space for love to develop naturally, unencumbered by expectations or prejudices. Followers of Stoic philosophy are encouraged to always speak sincerely and clearly. Honesty in communication builds mutual trust and confidence. When we express our thoughts and feelings genuinely, we show our true selves to our partners and open the door for them to respond in kind. Clarity helps prevent unnecessary misunderstandings and ensures that messages are conveyed accurately. Communication in love is not always smooth. There will be times of disagreement or conflict. Be patient and tolerant. Refrain from reacting hastily and always seek to resolve issues calmly and rationally. Patience and tolerance in communication help us maintain inner peace and harmony in the relationship, allowing love to grow sustainably. Nurturing intentional communication in love, according to Stoic philosophy, not only helps us avoid conflicts and misunderstandings, but also creates conditions for love to develop naturally and sincerely. By listening deeply, speaking sincerely, and being patient in communication, you will find that love does not need to be pleaded for, but will come naturally and enduringly. We hope that sharing about Stoic philosophy has helped you gain more insight into love and how to nurture a sustainable and natural relationship. Before we end, we would like to know how you feel about this video. You can leave your opinion th through a quick question below. How do you feel about this video? A. Very dissatisfied. B. Unsatisfied. C. Neutral. D. Satisfied. E. Very satisfied. Let us know what you think 
by choosing one of the above answers in the comment section. If you find this video useful, don't forget to click the like button. Share this video with your friends and family and leave a comment below. This not only helps us know what you think, but also helps spread positive messages to more people. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next videos about motivation and Stoic philosophy. Hit the notification bell to get notified every time we release a new video. Stay tuned and discover more valuable lessons from Stoic philosophy in the upcoming videos. Thank you and see you in the next videos.